Bordeaux is one of those wine regions you kind of must know if you're interested in wine because so much of the wines that we drink today are influenced by this French wine region. In fact, some of the most collectible and expensive wines in the world come from this region. But what makes Bordeaux great goes well beyond these exclusive bottlings, and I'd like to show you four wine styles you must know from Bordeaux. So I wanna give you a little bit of a quick and dirty history on Bordeaux to give you a little bit more context of what's going on here. So Bordeaux, it's located on the western side of France along the water. The, there's a major river there called the Garonne which makes Bordeaux a shipping port. Vineyards were first established here during the Roman times and it was when the Dutch controlled the region in the 1600s that they drained all the marshlands and made them more suitable to plant vineyards. This is when these amazing chateaus started popping up and filling the region with vineyards and they would make the wines and sell them in the city of Bordeaux to merchants called negociants who would ship the wines internationally. What's crazy about this region is that the grape variety Cabernet Sauvignon, which is the most planted popular grape variety in the world, first appeared in Bordeaux. By the 1800s, Bordeaux was well established as a wine producing region making red wines and sweet wines. And if you knew a thing or two about how to buy Bordeaux, you would look at the areas within Bordeaux for quality. These areas, now called Appalachians, are where we find quality still today. Another thing that happened during this time period, in 1855, Napoleon ordered wineries be classified based on their quality level. That classification system still stands today, and the five top wineries in that classification are essentially the five most expensive wines in Bordeaux. Of course, Bordeaux is a massive region. It's like six times the size of Napa Valley, so you're gonna find a lot more wine and a great affordable wine here too. So I have four styles of wine that sort of communicate the wealth and the breadth of wine that is made here, and it's what you should look for if you're looking to taste Bordeaux on your own. Let's dive in. The first wine you should probably try from Bordeaux is definitely a red wine from the Medoc region. This area has many sub-appellations, and while there are the most expensive wines found here in Bordeaux, you'll also find some great value. This wine, for example, is a well-aged, over 10-year-old bottle of wine that I picked up for about $30. Let's give it a taste. If you take a look at this wine, you can see that it is a medium ruby to garnet color. You can see a slight changing of the color of the rim towards a more garnet color, indicating some age. Let's give it a sniff. Smells like black cherry, black currant, wet gravel, pencil lead, a little bit of dark chocolate and tobacco. Let's give it a taste. Wow, this wine is definitely higher in the body and it has some tannin. I can really feel the tannin across my tongue. Pretty good acidity and it's definitely dry. What I like about Cabernet Sauvignon from Bordeaux is that earth flavors and gravel notes and smells like that, I really feel like that communicates the land of Bordeaux. And then you still get a lot of fruit as well. One fun thing to pay attention to when you're hunting for a bottle of wine is look for the words Grand Vin de Bordeaux on the bottle, indicating the winery's top wine. The next wine you'll love to try from Bordeaux is from Ante du Mer or Libourne, and this area specializes in red wines that tend to use Merlot and Cabernet Franc instead of Cabernet Sauvignon as the most important grapes in the blend. Taking a look at this wine, I can see it is a deep ruby color that I can't see through. Let's give it a sniff. On the nose, this wine is very plush. It smells like milk chocolate, blackberry, a little bit of mint, baking spices, and almost a little burnt caramel. Let's give it a taste. This is one of those wines I feel like a lot of my friends would like. It's big on the palate and the tannins are not as rigid as the Cabernet wine. 
It has almost this subtle minty note with a little bit of baking spices on the finish, which make it taste, even though it's a dry wine, give it almost a sweetness. One thing you can look for to get great value are wines that are called Bordeaux Superior. This is an appellation that includes many appellations in the entire region, but has higher quality standards than your basic bottle of Bordeaux. Even though Bordeaux produces nearly 90% red wines, you'll still find some excellent white wines here. And the major grapes you'll find in Bordeaux that are white are Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. And that's exactly what this white wine blend is made of. Taking a look at the color, this wine is a medium straw color. Let's give it a sniff. On the nose, this wine smells like white peach, mango, honeydew melon, fresh cut grass, and a whiff of beeswax. Let's give it a taste. Wow, this wine explodes with acidity and these wonderful peachy notes that lead into more dry gooseberry notes and finish with a long tingle on your palate. This would make an awesome wine with Thai food. When I am looking for great white wines in Bordeaux, I go into the Entre du Mers and Graves region where you'll find a lot of great options. Most of these wines you'll find will be labeled simply as Bordeaux. The last wine you must try from Bordeaux is a sweet treat, and it comes from an area called Sauternes, which has several appellations within it, Sauternes being the largest, and a fog comes in over the region that makes the grapes get a little rotty, and they call it noble rot, aka Botrytis cinerea. Let's give this one a try. Looking at the color of this wine, ooh, it is a deep, gold color. What a beautiful colored wine. Let's give it a sniff. On the nose, this wine smells like apricot, honey, beeswax, a touch of ginger, subtle notes of wet limestone, a hint of passion fruit, and a whiff of caramel. Let's give it a taste. Mm. These wines are so rich with sweetness and this beautiful creamy mid palate that just hangs and would be a really great replacement for dessert. What's interesting about this sweet wine, it's one of those few that you can age for several years and it gets darker and darker and darker and smoother as it ages. I would encourage you to learn more about Bordeaux, especially when it comes to buying the wines, because there are a lot of idiosyncrasies here, like the vintages matter. You can find out all this information more and discover Bordeaux wines to try at our new guide online, all about Bordeaux. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Bordeaux and are so thirsty to taste some.